Loyalty is hard to find. Trust is easy to lose. And actions speak louder than words. And the reality is that there's a lot of you out there who probably feel like there are no loyal men. That that doesn't exist. It's a figment of my imagination. But no, 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 no. That's not true. They do exist. They are out there. And you can have an amazing relationship with one of them. All right? Yes, that can happen for you. But you have to be aware of the signs to be looking out for that show you this is the kind of man that has that level of character, commitment, and loyalty to you. So let's get right to it. Number one is he's willing to set boundaries with other women. Now, notice I did not specify other uh, female friends um, or acquaintances because we're talking about all women, including mothers. Now, let's put a pin in the mothers for a second. I'm going to get to that. Let's start with female friends, all right? Women, friends of the opposite sex. So a man who is loyal to you has no problem creating boundaries because, again, he is protective of you and the relationship. He does not allow any woman to disrespect the relationship. He does not allow another woman to come in between or cause problems in the relationship. His loyalty to you wants to create an environment that allows you to feel safe, comfortable, and at ease. And a man, what most men understand, or let me say a lot of men, <laughs> let me not even say most, a lot of men understand the need to, uh, or how tricky it can be when we're not careful with our opposite sex relationships, all right? And so if he doesn't know on his own, he will be willing or open to make corrections when you raise legitimate concerns. Now, notice I said legitimate concerns. It's not to devalue how you may feel about certain situations. And it's hard to pick one because people feel differently about different things. So, for example, some of you may be completely against him having a female best friend. That's like, hell no, ain't happening, ain't going for it. Others of you may not think it's a big deal. It may just depend more so on the interaction between them two. That's for you to decide. But when I say you, he will respect your legitimate concerns, what I mean is he is going to be, to an extent, willing to make adjustments to make you comfortable. But if you're flat out accusing him of doing things when he's doing nothing wrong, or when you simply have a completely different perception of how opposite sex relationships outside of your committed relationship should be handled, there may be some hesitancy there. Now listen, hesitancy on his side or unwillingness to make correction on his side doesn't automatically mean you should suck it up, forget about it, you're wrong, you're being ridiculous. I simply raised the, the, the point of legitimate concerns just to show how quickly a man might be willing to uh, accommodate you. However, how you feel is how you feel. And you've got to be willing to go deeper. Now, I, I didn't want to go too deep into a tangent with this, but it's hitting my spirit, so i got to say it, right? So here's the thing. If you have an issue with a female friend of his, and he says to you, listen, there's nothing going on. We've been friends since we were kids. It's nothing, right? But it's still bothering you. The reason why it's important for you to keep uh, not keep pressing the issue, but not to simply ignore the issue is because if you try to ignore it when it genuinely bothers you, it's going to wreak havoc in other ways in the relationship. You'll start to have attitudes with him. You'll start to be dismissive possibly. It will create friction in, in other situations that you're dealing with him, and it's all about that one issue not being resolved. But also, you've got to learn how to be very honest and forthcoming about the why this makes you uncomfortable. Because I see a lot of situations that I have coached where a woman may, uh, may address this issue from the surface of, well, I just don't think it's, it's appropriate or healthy for a man or a woman to have an opposite sex best friend or for a best friend to uh, be spending time with you in that manner, whatever the case is, right? But in reality, what's really bothering you is how he seems to act when he's around that friend. How he seems to maybe have some feelings that he's not being forthcoming about. 
how maybe you're sensing something in her that's saying this woman wants your man and is trying to knock you out of the box here. Like, we got to get to the root of what's really going on. And, and a lot of times, you're, you're questioning this man's loyalty without giving him clarity, all right? Without helping him understand the why there is a problem here. And we can't be afraid to say it. And I think what's important about when you feel like it's something within him, because I have noticed, again, I've been coaching for a long time, I have noticed in the majority of these situations where people are uncomfortable with their partner and this opposite sex best friend and this specific situation, we're talking about men with a woman best friend, is because of what you sense within him. Something in him is making you uncomfortable. It's like, why is this man so damn friendly to her? Or why is this man so willing to, to uh, jump to rescue this woman whenever she calls on him? Why is he so readily available to her? Why does he seem to be more emotionally invested in her than me? But the fear of bringing that to the forefront and possibly finding out that that's exactly what the hell's going on causes you to withdraw, causes you to, st to stay with the, well, you just shouldn't have a female best friend. And then you wonder why the situation is not going anywhere. So we're going to get more to this loyalty thing, and I'm going to lay out all these other points. But I, I really, again, felt in my spirit the need to lay this out because I know some of you watching this are going through this right now. Some of you have already gone through this, and some of you will go through this. And it's important that you understand you've got to address it fully. But remember, I said he will set boundaries with other women. So let's move on from female friends, all right? And we're going to skip female acquaintances. We're just going to simply say, listen, when it comes to random women, it, when he's loyal to you, he's willing to make sure they understand there's lines they can't cross, all right? But again, it's important for you as a woman to make sure you've made clear what you have determined those lines should be, what you consider appropriate and inappropriate behavior. Because what, if you leave it up to him, he may think that he's drawing boundaries. But again, his line might be a little closer in than yours is. And he doesn't understand what, where, where you would draw it. So you have to have that discussion. And then you are, you're able to see, okay, is he willing to respect how I feel? But let's talk about the mothers, all right? Because here's the thing. I, I can tell you the rest of the stuff on this list, right? And he can match all those things. But if this man does not know how to draw boundaries with, boundaries with his mother, you're going to still have a huge problem. And again, this is another one of those things where many of you watching this have already lived it, where at the drop of a dime, this man's loyalty will turn to betrayal, or maybe not that intense. Maybe, maybe we don't go all the way to betrayal, but he will disregard your feelings or your perception, your opinion, your input because of what his mother said, because of what his mother wants him to do, because he puts his mother first. Now, some of you may say, well, mothers should come first. I don't agree. <laughs> not, at least not we're talking about marriage. But this video is not going to be about that specifically. So let's just stay with the fact that he has to be willing to set boundaries there as well. It doesn't mean he doesn't love his mother, can't respect his mother, can't honor his mother. But if he's going to be in a relationship with you, and, and, and there is a desire for this relationship to go towards marriage, all right? Hell, even if it's going to be a long-term relationship, if you don't believe in marriage, which I'm not saying I support it, but that's what you want to do, live your life. Regardless, you need to have a structure in place that says you as the woman in his life should be respected and essentially put number one, all right? And again, I repeat, that doesn't mean neglect the mother. It just means, yo... He can't be dismissing you for his mother. He can't be turning his back on you for his mother all the time. That, that's just not going to be a healthy relationship. It may make sense to people because, oh, that's his mom. No, that will set the stage for too many problems. So anyways, I, I dragged on this specific point a little longer than I expected. But bottom line, he is prepared and willing to create boundaries with other women when he is loyal to you. All right, so now the second sign that he is loyal to you is he is loyal in other areas of his life. So what you commonly see with people is that 
loyal people seem to be consistently loyal. That's just, again, it's like in their DNA. It's who they are. They, they, they're, it's just what they do, whether that be with who they go to, to to do their hair, whether it be who they go to for business, friends, you're going to start to notice loyalty in other aspects of their life. And so you're going to notice that these people have longer lasting relationships, longer lasting friendships, longer lasting business relationships. Hell, these people are the type of people who will have the same phone provider for the last 15 years. Like they're just loyal. It's just who they are. They don't like change like that. They don't like switching up. They like to find where they, what they like and, and make peace with it and move from there. So when you are evaluating, if this is a loyal guy, evaluate the other relationships in his life. Now, of course, that's going to take time for you to get uh, a greater picture of what's going on there. But the easiest way to get at least a snapshot is ask about the friendships. So how long have you been friends with your, your guy friends? All right. And possibly women friends. <laughs> okay. Well, how long have you had those relationships? Um, shoot, even at the jobs he works at. Again, the guy who's working 10, 15 years at a job, and, and not saying every situation that someone does this is automatic, they're just loyal hands down. And, and I'm gonna make a point at the very end of this video because I already know what some of y'all are thinking. But again, these are good signs, and these typically play into this individual being a loyal man all around. All right, so let's keep this moving. And now we are on the third sign he's loyal to you. And that is he is reliable and there for you. All right. So the unfortunate reality is that so many women deal with men they can't count on. All right. When you need him, he's not there for you. And, and this is even more of a glaring issue, it's, it's, a, it's a problem regardless, but it's even more of a glaring issue when you can honestly say you are reliable to him. You are there for him. So when you are pouring into this man in that way, but he cannot match your energy, he cannot give you the same in return, that is a problem. But again, we're focusing on what makes him loyal and, and the fact that he is reliable, the fact that he is there for you when you call on him. And of course, listen, some men have more availability than others. That's just the reality of life. If you're dealing with a very, and let me be honest, there might be some slight bias, slight bias right now. But when you're dealing with a successful man who may be an entrepreneur, just someone who has a lot going on for themselves, there's going to be a little bit less availability, all right? It doesn't mean they will become unreliable. So I'm not making an excuse for that because even in my busyness, I think I can say with confidence I'm a reliable person and I'm there for a lot of people when needed. But it is not as easy for a man such as myself as it might be for the next guy. But what you will see regardless of whether he's a very busy successful man or he's a man that doesn't have much going on. And when I say not much going on, let me just say maybe he has a regular nine to five and that's it. He has a lot more hours available. So he still has something going on, but he's just not as busy, right? The common denominator in the loyal man is he makes an effort, all right? He tries. And, and when he says he's going to do something, he does it. That's the big thing, all right? He sticks by his word. Again, he shows up when he says he's going to show up. And if he isn't able to show up, he takes accountability for it. He may try to make up for it. He shows you that this is a mistake rather than uh, a common or a consistent issue that's going to be present in this relationship, all right? And he shows you that he cares enough to want to correct it when that mistake is made. But that's what's very important, is really paying attention to his reliability. And so now another thing hit in my spirit is for many of you, the struggle is you walk so much in your independence that you don't create the opportunity to see how reliable this man really is, all right? So if you become too accustomed to doing everything yourself and you've taken, this may sound weird, but let's work with me here, taking too much pride, yes, too much pride in doing everything yourself, 
Because that's not, you should not be doing everything yourself in a relationship. If you're going to have to do that, what the hell's the point of a relationship? I digress. Let me continue. When you are, again, so consumed by your independence, you now rob, rob the relationship and rob this man of the opportunity to show you, can he show up when needed? All right? Because you are too damn quick to handle it yourself. You are too damn quick to say, well, I don't want to ask him. I don't want to bother him. I don't want to seem needy. Listen, I'm not saying go beg this man to go do this and that for you. I'm not saying you have to force yourself to be a damsel in distress. But I am saying is let the man uh, contribute in this relationship. Let the man show you that he can pour into you. And, and I, I don't want you to do this in a I'm a test him kind of way. I, I want you to learn how to be comfortable in, and this might be a weird word to use in relationships, but comfortable with delegation or comfortable with allowing someone to do for you. So again, it's kind of like even me as a business owner, I have to be mindful of not jumping to do it myself and say, no, I have employees. Let me call them and allow them to do. This is where they're, this is what they were hired for. This is where they're strong at, so on and so forth. So if you have a man and you know that maybe, for example, let's say he knows cars. He's very good with cars. Something goes wrong with your car. That's a perfect time to hit him up and be like, hey, can you help me with this? Like that, that's not the time for you to go do it yourself. That's not the time for you to go to the mechanic yourself. You got a man who likes cars, who knows cars. Use that to your advantage. Oh, you know, and, and trust and believe if that man cares about you, if that man is loyal to you, he will pride himself in that moment of showing you that he can handle it for you. Because that's the other thing about it. The man who's loyal to you wants to show you how much he cares. Wants to show you he got you. So let him show you. Give him that opportunity. So be mindful of not being so independent that you don't allow yourself to, to see what this man truly brings to the table and if he can be counted on at times that you need him. And I'm gonna say one more point before I move, to, one more thing before I move to the next point. You don't wanna make him comfortable with you doing everything. So here's one more thing that I've noticed in a lot of relationships. Some women are with men, the same man that they complain doesn't do for them is the same man doing everything for the next woman. And, and sometimes, yes, there's various reasons why that can happen. But one of the reasons is because you never require that of him. You, you made him comfortable to, I got it, I'll take care of it, to where he doesn't even ask no more. It's almost like, like if a guy asks you to carry your grocery bags in the house and you constantly say, I got it, I got it, at some point the man will stop to ask. He'll stop asking because he's gotten accustomed to you saying, you got it, he won't even bother, all right? If you, if you play that game or if you allow yourself to fall into that trap, you can condition him to thinking that you always got it. And then when you finally bring it up, he'll say like, damn, I thought you were good. I thought you were okay. And he's, he's genuinely saying that. Like, he's not trying to play a game right now. He's really saying, yo, you always sound like you got it all, you got it all taken care of. And, and this doesn't just play out with uh, romantic relationships. There are family and friends who, who are never showing up for you, at least what you've experienced, they haven't shown up for you, not because they're not willing or capable, but because you always act like you got it all together, that you can take care of it, that, that you're fine as you are. You got to be careful with that. We have to be more vulnerable in, in showing when we need help, in allowing people to point into us and do for us in every way. But specifically when we're talking about romantic relationships, you don't want to condition him to thinking he does not have to do anything for you. All right, so let's keep this moving and get to number four. But before I mention it real quick, get your copy of The Man God Has For You. Click the link in the description or in the comment section. Best-selling book. Women are loving it. You will love it too. Now on to number four. And number four is he is in tune with you. So what I mean by that is he's attentive. He is considerate. He understands you. He's paying attention to you, all right? And so he, he senses when you're in a bad mood. He senses when something's not right with you. Now, I don't want to put that kind of pressure on every man in the sense that being in tune or intuitive with, in general, is not easy for everybody. 
and being intuitive with your partner can take time, all right? But I do think that, again, the man who is loyal to you and serious about you is making an effort in that, in that area, or he's already getting it, and he's paying very close attention because, again, he wants to show you he has your back. He's there for you. He can be counted on, all right? And the reason why this speaks so much to loyalty is because for a man to be in tune like that and to essentially be emotionally invested, I'm not saying it's impossible for a man to, to have that with a woman and still cross lines he's not supposed to cross or one day not be loyal. But what I am saying is it, it severely or it, it mentally de decreases the chances of that. Because to be so emotionally invested in someone, we don't have... We don't have enough emotion to give to this person on that level and be given to that one, that one, that one. That's just tough for anybody to pull off, all right? So when there's that level of, of bond and connection there, again, it, it's, it simply decreases the chances that this guy is anything but loyal to you. So it's something to definitely be uh, aware of and pay attention to, but also be willing to communicate in that process of helping him get on the same page as you. So I don't make the point of being in tune with you to say, we just leave it up to him to figure it out, all right? That's not fair to that guy, especially when he's making an effort to really get on the same page as you. You've got to be willing to give him clarity. You've got to be willing to talk to him, help him understand certain things. And again, just him making that effort to listen and process and, and make adjustments and, and make things better with you, that shows you guys are moving in the right direction and this guy is serious about you. Number five is he doesn't hide you, all right? So loyalty does not come with, with uh, keeping you hidden from the world, all right? It, that, that just kind of contradicts itself essentially. You, you got to understand that the man who is loyal to you is a man who has no problem showing the world, this is my woman. I'm with her. She's with me. All right? And so he's not going to be hiding you on social media, though I understand social media can be very tricky, okay? And there's various reasons why some men don't post their woman. I have said it, and I'll say it all the time. I'm not big on posting a partner on social media for reasons that got nothing to do with not being loyal or not loving a person or anything like that. But that's a whole video by itself. The point is, though, you're going to see a consistent pattern of he has no problem showing you to the world. He has no problem letting his family and friends, and not even just no problem, he will let his family and friends know about you. He will let the people who, de who uh, he deals with know about you. Again, there's going to be no hiding you of any sort. So that's just something to be mindful of. But again, when it comes to social media, that's a deeper discussion we have to have. We'll say that for another time. The sixth sign that he's loyal to you is that he defends you and your relationship with him. More specifically, he defends you. And the only reason why I changed it to defend you and not always the relationship with you, because listen, if there are certain times where you guys are having a rough patch uh, and there's some issues there, it's normal for people to maybe not talk as positively about their relationship. And I'm not saying that that's healthy or okay. I'm just saying I'm not prepared to say, well, this is a disloyal person. As long as they're not creating lies and false narratives about you and the relationship. Now, that's just flat out disloyal. That's just bad character and the story. But being honest and forthcoming with a friend or family member or, or therapist or whoever about some of the issues that's going on, that's not being disloyal. That's just being honest. And, and hopefully that's a person trying to find answers to make things better. However, he will defend you in the sense of not allowing other people to talk badly about you, disrespect you, disrespect the relationship. He, he will defend your honor, so to speak. All right. That speaks to loyalty. There's no way around that. Now, I, I do feel the need to say that I do think there are some men out there, and this is no disrespect to these men, but this is just speaking honestly. There are some men out there who genuinely love you, genuinely care about you and are serious about you, 
but don't know how to step up as a man in that moment and defend you. And, and let's take it back to the mother, all right? There are some men who don't know how to stand up to their mother. And it's not that they aren't loyal to you. It speaks to them lacking confidence in standing strong in, in who they are as a man, what they desire, what they believe they, is best for them, you know what I'm saying? And whatever dynamic they have with that mother or parent, it could be a father, whoever, or even some friends. There are, there are people who don't know how to stand up to other people in their life when it comes to speaking bad about anything. It's not even, and, and that's the thing about it. They won't just struggle in the area of defending you. They will struggle in the area of defending themselves or defending other aspects of their life. So that speaks to a deeper issue that needs to be discussed. But understand the difference. When you, if that ever happens and you see that man let something slide or, or, or didn't step up in that moment, don't be so quick to just think, well, he doesn't have my back. Because the issue is less about him not having your back and him needing to grow a backbone. All right? And, and, and again, that might sound harsh for some people, but that's just the reality of it. He's got to get stronger. And any man listening to this who, who is, who's dealing with that or has dealt with that or will face this issue, you've got to learn how to be able to defend your partner and defend yourself and defend what you believe is truly right and best for you. And hell, I feel the need to say it, defend what God has led you to do because that's when a lot of resistance will come. All right. But again, that's a whole nother video. I'm going to leave that one alone for right now. But yes, the man who is loyal will defend you. So now we've reached number seven. And number seven on this list is he has strong values and a positive circle. So listen, n let me just start about it off the jump and say this. Just because someone has an unhealthy circle, <laughs> and when I say, and I'm trying to make excuses, but I'm just keeping it real. If someone has an unhealthy circle, meaning they have negative influences, friends, family, whatever, right? That does not automatically mean they roll the same way. That doesn't automatically mean they will fall into the trap set by those negative influences. However, it does mean it creates an unhealthy environment that's going to make it difficult for this individual to stay on the right track. Negative circles, influences, or a lack of strong values already in that man's life can be a precursor to trouble for trouble to come. So when he does have good strong values, when he does have that positive circle, when he's surrounded by other good men, Nobody's perfect, so we're not expecting them to be perfect men, but good quality guys, all right, and, and good in character we're talking about, then that at least increases his ability to stay on the right track, all right? And I do believe that every man needs positive male influences, dudes that they can talk to sometimes, or whether it be a therapist, friend, whatever, coworker, just somebody that they can discuss things with, get things off your chest, but someone who's going to push you on the right track and not just be like, man, yeah, go do the wrong thing. <laughs> like, you know, not, not going to pull you down in their, in their nonsense and set you up for failure. They're going to at least try to encourage you to do better. Um, and, and again, just, just set you up for, for more success. So, yes, when he has strong values and a strong circle, that's a good sign he's going to be a loyal male. He is loyal to you. Number eight, and this should be one that everyone should already know, is he's consistent, all right? So listen, all this good stuff I mentioned on this list, and it all, it all is good stuff, it, it means nothing if it only comes in doses, a little bit here, a little bit there. What's the point of that? The man who's genuinely loyal is consistent in these areas, all right? Again, not perfect. We all have our moments. We all make mistakes. But he is consistent, and he is, again, willing to take accountability when he does make a mistake and you're not attacking him, <laughs> all right? I have to say that because, again, when you attack someone, natural thing to do is defend themselves. So when you're simply addressing it in a positive and loving manner, he can say, you know what, you're right, I, I need to do better here or I'll make this correction. He shows a willingness to do that. So consistency is definitely huge and necessary 
and a sign of a man who's loyal to you. And then now number nine, and I'm going to wrap it up with an extra little bonus message. Number nine is when there's a deep and genuine connection. If you watch enough of my videos and you know I am huge on deep and genuine connections because to me, that is the glue. That is the foundation of successful, amazing, happy relationships. It is the, the, the foundation to having that level of respect, that level of loyalty, commitment, transparency, all the great things we want in our life with someone that we love, we can have it when there's a real connection there. So you got to be honest with yourself. It's not to say that someone that you don't have a connection with can't be loyal to you. But what the hell's the point of being in a relationship with someone you don't have a real connection with? That relationship won't last. And if the relationship won't last, yes, there is a possibility that their loyalty will not last. Because at some point, the relationship will start to crumble and everything will fall apart. Because you need that secret sauce, so to speak, of having a deep and genuine connection. And so to wrap this whole thing up, listen, I know some of you are saying, well, yes, I've seen men do all this and they still did this and they still did that. I get it. It can happen because there is no 100% situation. There's always exceptions to the rule, but understand they are exceptions. And what I want you to also understand is even if we can make the case or we can make the case that sometimes the man will still do you wrong, the man's still not loyal. There's no, there's nothing good to come from you projecting that on a man who's doing all these things on the list. There's no good to come from you still holding on to skepticism when this man is making every effort to show you he loves you, he's loyal to you, and trying to pour into you. You've got to give the benefit of the doubt. It does not mean you blind yourself to the possibility that anything, like I know as a human being, Anyone is capable of anything. I don't put anything past anyone, but I don't have relationships, whether it be business, romantic, whatever, whatever it is, projecting negative outcomes, projecting this lack of trust. It's just, hey, when that, if that happens, we cross that bridge when we get to it. We, we lean on God in those moments if it comes, but we must move forward giving the benefit of the doubt when someone is making the effort and taking the right steps to have an amazing relationship with us. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. I know what you're thinking. What the hell is wrong with these men? They don't know what they want. They're playing games and not keeping it real. They don't want a serious relationship. They don't know how to act right. I mean, we can go 